I just wanted to, while we're waiting, Rob's, uh, Rob will be here in a, a couple of minutes. Shout out. I got my book. Last Disciple by Lou Steele. Been reading it. I'm, I'm probably going to knock the rest of it out tonight and just be done. And uh, it's an excellent book. I've, everybody go. Their Last Disciple. Buy this book. Pee Wee should have his coming pretty soon. And, uh, and we'll be pushing that one too. Big shout out to Smalls. Smalls is from New York. He has his own clothing brand or, or t-shirt designs and stuff that he's doing. He's going to shoot me some of them. And that's how I'm going to rock. I'm not going to go with, uh, with, you know, getting advertising dollars. Why not keep it in the, the community? Keep it in our circle. And we can just do it that way. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather not take money selling shirts and stuff from like Teespring. Uh, I'll be selling my own shirts. We're going to work up some designs with, uh, Anna and, uh, and we'll be doing it that way. But so as soon as I get those shirts, I'll be rocking those and I'll tell you guys how you can get some of those shirts if you like them. There we go. What's up, brother? What up? Man, much better this way, huh? Hell yeah. I can actually get on here. Look at that deer. Does it does it <laughs> does it work with fucking earphones or what? Yeah, it'll work with earphones too. I got I got three psychos in the house. Oh boy. That's fine. That's a good time right there. There we go. There. Can I hear you now? Did you okay. get that text about Hawaii? I didn't. I don't know what he's saying. How do I take the text? All the. There we go. Let's there. See. Can you see me? Yes, sir. Everybody's complaining about my face and not being able to see me last time. How do I take the comments off the screen? <laughs> How do you take them off? Yeah. Uh, you push up in the, the top right. The there's that little chat thing. And down there, it'll say none. Hide all chat. Why isn't my fucking earphones working now? Uh-oh. Is it working? Piece of shit. Probably not. Not that one. <clears throat> this one? One of these motherfuckers. There we go. Can I hear that? <laughs> I'm old, bud. What the fuck you want from me? I know. I know. I feel I feel that and I'm I'm a little younger than you, but I really do feel that in my life where all this shit comes along. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. We got my my old man oxygen in and shit like I can hear. <laughs> oh man, so I, I'm still trying to figure out how to get the fucking messages off here. Oh, push the top top right and corner. That little chat thing. That chat. hide all chat messages. There we go. Oh, there we go. Well, so what's up, my brother? Man, man. Last time Last we. Time we... Uh, -oh. uh oh. I got an echo. You got echoes? I think so. Fuck. Let me turn off my AC. Maybe it's my AC. I lost the fucking remote. I had it right here. I've been a little under the weather, so I don't, I'm all fucked up. <laughs> Maybe that's better. Is that better? Uh, that's, yeah, I think that's better. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so last time we talked, man, we were talking about other clubs, like better, almost better options, right? Well, first and foremost, let's just say this. If you plan on getting in this game, just know you're gonna lose everything. It don't matter what fucking club you're in. Yeah. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose your family. You're gonna. You're gonna lose it, your freedom, and uh, probably everything else too. A right. lot of your friends. So, I don't really know if there's a better choice, or you know. But uh, you know, 
I, I don't regret any of it. I had a good time, but, uh, you know, I like being free a lot better. Yeah. I like living for my family now. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing better than your, your family makes you feel the best. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. God, there I go with the cussing again. That's okay. I don't care what anybody says, but it'll just be all bleeps if I, if I keep running. <laughs> Uh, I love you, Sterling. <laughs> Big Rob made a uh, a really good point. He was like, Big Rob. Oh yeah. Said, I got hey, love for Big Rob, dude. That's a crazy motherfucker right there, bud. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he's uh, he is awesome. He's he's fun as hell, dude. That guy have your have your gut fucking busted. I'm telling you. That's what I like about him the most. Is yeah, he could go he could go for days too, bud. He He's got ammo for days. Him and Sterling both, dude. Sterling's a motherfucker, bud. <laughs> uh, That's a good dude, too, right there. He is. He's solid as they come, bud. If that dude's on your side, you're lucky, believe me. Yeah, absolutely. There's I'd big... do anything for that guy, bud. I'm going to pick him up tomorrow when I'm taking, we're taking the kids fishing. Oh, man. You're going to let... You're gonna have to tell him. Stop yelling at the fish, Todd. Shit, he was, he, he's already yelling at me. <laughs> he was yelling at me a half hour ago. I said, I got to go. So so you saw the uh, the Gypsy Joker video that I did, I'm hoping. I liked it, bud. You did a good job. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I've noticed everybody was kind of shitting on those guys, you know, going nah, on. You, can't, you, you, you know what? Uh, I've hung out with those dudes, bud. They, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're different, bud, but I like, I like the different that they are. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're, they like hold true almost to what, what that is. Uh, it's that they're very secretive and, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of people don't know they collect old Joker cards out of the decks of cards, old, old, old Joker cards though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They got some cool ass shit. Those dudes are a trip. I'll keep my eye out, and if I see anything like that, man, I'll send it to, I don't know, Portland. I know that they still got a Portland chapter. I think they had to sell that clubhouse, though, didn't they? For the they defense? Had, they had a badass clubhouse in Portland, dude. It had everything. It was like yeah. a cool dive bar feel. Yeah, uh, dude, the best. Hey, let me tell you something about Portland, bud. There's a fucking <laughs> – there I go with the cussing again. There's a there's a there's a strip over there with a bunch of bunch of titty bars on it, right? You can't visit them all in one day. Portland. Don't ask me how I know, but you can't <laughs> do it. You can't do it. Plus, the the outsiders got a bar over there too. You know what I mean? Those dudes are cool too, bud. And they all pretty they they get along pretty well in Oregon. All the clubs. Yeah, for the most part, you know, there's they have a little bit of poo butt shooting out, you know, at each other and shit like that. But it ain't nothing. It ain't, it, you know, it's just a Friday night in California to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or Monday nights too. I mean, <laughs> the the Gypsy Jokers actually went after Antifa in Portland, didn't they? Yeah, that's rad, dude. I <laughs> I would go after Antifa in my backyard. I don't care. Those guys are trash. That's badass, right there. That's making a statement. And and being the first ones to say, hey man, we're not going to put up with this. We're not, hey, we're not doing that. Just like your county said, we're not doing that. We're not doing that fucking uh, uh, pronoun shit game here, bud. Exactly. <laughs> I can live in a. I can live in a town like that, bud. That's, that's what, what I'm. A, I'm about that shit. Like all that shit needs to stay out of the schools. Yeah. Let my kid go to school and just learn school, bud. Exactly, and let him let them learn. Along the way, all the other exactly learned along the way. That's why if they got something different going on in their in their in their head and their lives. They'll figure it out later when they get out of school. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Helped us Sound make... like somebody was cutting my tires on the car out front. Oh no! Uh, it's just my oxygen. The kids are playing with in the bedroom or something. <laughs> They're playing. Don't with... blow the place up. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're not popping off rounds in the house like Todd's kid right now. <laughs> I don't even. Want... <laughs> you know. So, uh, I mean, you you've hung out with them before, right? Who's who's that? 
Dipsy Jokers? Yeah. Well, we were at the same place uh, up in uh, in Oregon. We'd ha- we we were at the same the same party, and uh, we hung out. But he didn't. He uh, the member that was there. He didn't really want to. Uh, he was weary as hell. You know what I'm saying? Because of the past, not because of anything that was going on. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but uh, he was friendly, and I was friendly, and uh, you know, is respect respect given where it's given. You know. Hell yeah! Yeah, it this- was a good time. It was like this guy's private party at his house or something. He just had random bikers. You know, there was there was a gypsy jokers there. There were uh, maybe two of them, I think. And then uh, this other club. Uh, I can I can I, I can never. Uh, I'm getting old. I can never remember names anymore. Yeah, probably. But, uh, there, there's a. Uh, it was a good time. Their trip, though. You know what I mean. Uh, a lot of them were at the time. You know, I was young, and the, and uh, all them, all the Gypsy Jokers were more older cats. You know what I mean? So it was a lot of that old, uh, the old, the old, uh, the old uh, guard, as you would say. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, it was kind of looking. But I, up. I, never, I wasn't involved in that. I wasn't alive when all that shit was kicking off back in the day when they moved out of here and whatnot. But uh, I think they're cool. I think they're cool, and they hold. You know, they stick to their 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 guns. You know what I mean? They hold their they hold their ships, you know, true north. It's badass. Yeah, I was I was impressed with with kind of what I've learned about their get down in the background. It's too bad that a couple of them are old, but I mean, yeah. See, you know, and the problem is, I'll tell you right now, they took that guy from that other club, and he was the one that turned on him. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And the, and and a lot of the times, what happens when you take people from other clubs? is they still have that other club mentality when they come to your club. They don't know any better. You know what I mean? And, you know, I never started out in any other club. I went straight to where I went. You know what I mean? And Which, it's just. That's pretty you know, self right there. Yeah. So it's, it, you know, I'm not saying that's the case all the time, but 90% of the time I I would say that's that's what happens. You know what I mean? I would think if you're doing that kind of dirt with a support club guy. Uh, that dude should have just went and handled that shit himself. He didn't rip off the club. He ripped off him. Right. Right. Or and, him. And that, that was D, how the fuck you say that dude's name? DeClaw or DeClaw or whatever. Uh, you know, I ain't trying to clown on him or nothing because he should have just went and did that shit himself. And, and, and we probably wouldn't be reading about this shit in the paper other than some Baghdad dude dead in the bushes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And because. Uh, and it Clark, didn't look like it wasn't anything he couldn't handle himself. He should have just handled it himself. Yeah. Or just taken one or two of his closest club brothers and, and gone him. Or, 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 or just, you know, give homeboy a hot shot because the, obviously he was on the spike. You know what I mean? So it wouldn't be too hard to, to just have somebody send that his way too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They put a world-class ass whooping on this guy though. Like yeah, that. I know. Yeah. I mean, and so, you know, sometimes that feels good too, but uh, too many people involved, bud. Yeah. Mistake for- number mistake number one, and the most prevalent mistake always made. Too many people involved. Well, Mark Mark told his his tweaker girlfriend about what he did. That's all, bro. Did well, just- I, I'm pretty sure that Hugger was or Bagger, whatever his name is, uh, was probably piping her too. You know. It think, sounds like uh, she was going back. You know, she was playing ping pong or getting yeah. ping ponged. <laughs> and I think she probably had something to do with Mark yes. getting hit. Yeah, totally. I mean, I mean, let's just, I mean, it is what it is, but we all know them tweaker games like that. You know, them heroin games. Yep. It was, it, they set old boy up from the gate, you know. She was playing him like a fucking yo-yo, bud. Yep. Mm-hmm. Real, real. She's the one who went to. She set off the whole investigation. She's the one. Oh, I who believe it. Died in the grand jury. I believe it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> great nations were lost over females, bud. Look at Helen of Troy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. But uh, yeah. 
I always I I'm, I get sidetracked here, but uh yeah, you know, them dudes, they 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 really gotta. You know, it's my understanding that they were gonna go they were gonna go this way a long time ago, but the older guard didn't want to prospect again. And uh, you know, I don't know. I think it would have been worth them just patching over the old guard from from that club. And yeah, but 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 then they're set in their old ways, you know what I'm saying? If they don't prospect you know, it was different. It was different down south when SFV did that. You know what I mean? Because they were hanging out with those. They were hanging out every day. It it was you know one and the same pretty much, just a different patch. And they were the last ones that go straight over. Yeah, but then they would have lost all the history of Gypsy Joker. Also, they lose it anyways. Because because uh, you get to keep your you know. They get to keep their old patches, but they don't wear it no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah because you're not, you're not that anymore. It's, it's pretty much done. Yeah. Unless it gets, uh, you know, some clubs like the bar hoppers and what have you, or, you know, they get, they get, uh, sometimes they'll get brought back around and used to, uh, say like, uh, with, uh, Shasta County. They put on the uh, Deacon's old colors and ran those until uh, until they made prospect, and then they ran prospect until they made member. Yeah, but but Deacon did that. He put he put his old colors out there so that they could wear them and prospect. They were a hang around club the whole time. They were a hang around club for five years. They ran that old patch of Deacon's old huh. club, and then when they prospected out, you know, you know. Okay. So some, sometimes that'll happen, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you really have to make a mark to for someone like Deacon to step out and do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, look at uh, it doesn't in Arizona. Yeah. Well, you know, and and uh, that was kind of fucked up when they asked Chico why they did it, and they said for the money. The, the that the the bigger club had the money to fight these Rico trials, which is true in a way, but it wasn't something that should have been put out that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that sounds like uh, you did it for the money and not not for the brotherhood or what have you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But still, uh, there's none of them left anymore. Maybe one or two, if anything. There's no more dirty. There's no more original dirty dozens. Maybe one or two that I could think of. Yeah, I. I which is usually which is usually what happens when these clubs patch over like that. They lose all their. You don't. You don't hardly ever see very many of them left around after they patch over. It's just, it ends up becoming new blood, and you know, the guys that that came over for that had the idea for to begin with, usually are gone. You know what I mean? Uh, Except for in uh, Colorado, they started with thirteen guys, and I they probably have at least ten of them still left. So, uh, oh yeah, Rob knows all about the last disciples. Uh, Lou, I got his book today. Hey, dude, I I I, I knew I recognized that guy. I know I I met him. Yeah, I, I've seen him a while when I was living over on the coast. See, it's been a while though. It's been some years. Fifteen shit. It's been a long time. But I recognized him towards the end. I really, I, I, I put it together. You know what I mean? But that was a good, that was a good deal right there. But I loved that one. That yeah. interview was good. Yeah, that's a good dude. Period. And, and that guy's been around since I remember. Twenty years. It's had to have been. It's got to be at least twenty years, maybe more. That yeah. dude. That dude's solid as they come. But I got nothing but respect for Lou. It, it he carried. Held, he held true. It carried a lot of weight when Todd was like, "Hey, I got the real deal. Uh, I got you know from that life." That's that's who I was telling you that Todd was going to send someone your way. That's who it was. Yeah, and and and, I, and that dude's real. I I got nothing but respect for Lou, but I I remember it's been a long time, but I remember that guy, and he's yeah. he's good. He's a good dude. Very good dude, as you could tell. The interview was good. Let's see. Somebody said, I got a question you might not answer. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shoot it. Is it guys not lasting or guys aging out? 
and the patch was third. in the patch overs. I think it's more that uh, it's more that uh, they you know maybe maybe it's not what they thought it was when they signed up. Right, because you know what I mean. It could be. Here's the thing: when you go from that club, a smaller club, to to one of the big four clubs, I would say, or big six, whatever the fuck it is now, um, it's a whole different commitment. Like like Big Rob was saying last night, somebody said something about the car shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you can't you can't tell no California nomad shit uh, when it comes to riding. Let me tell you right now, because I learned I learned my whole shit from the nomads in California. Those motherfucking dudes put miles on them bikes, but that's all they fucking do is put miles on bikes on two wheels, bro. Yeah. I mean, they ride the fuck everywhere and they got the tightest fucking pack and and the most the most militant pack. I mean, it's fucking something else to watch the nomads ride and they and and it's like crack back the whole way, bud. Mm. Like uh, all the dudes from my charter came from the nomads to California, which is which is usually how charters get get started in states. They start out, you know, usually you'll you'll start out a nomad charter to grow the state out. See what I'm saying? Well, uh, so, did George start that charter? Which one? Yours. No. Well, he started no- Ventura. Yes. But yeah. he came from L.A. County. Oh, he wasn't a nomad. No. Okay. I was in a different charter first before I went down that way. Two other charters before I went down that way. Yeah, I remember talking to you about about some of that. Yeah. I mean, but but the California nomads, but them motherfuckers, that's all they do is ride on two wheels, but sometimes just one. <laughs> yes. But yeah, that dude's wrote, that dude's been everywhere on that on two wheels, but that yeah. MC the, it, it might be different, but it doesn't always stand for my couch or my car or fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gary, thank you for that, that tip, bro. I appreciate you very much. So, uh, somebody said, what about the Nevada nomads? They are just as ruthless. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, a lot of people think of it as the nomads. They get, you know, they think of like Canada, it's this elite killing crew. It's, 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 that's not what it's designed or, you know, known. That's not what it's for. It's to grow out states. You, because if you're a nomad, you can go any. You could come from anywhere in that state as long as you're not riding through another charter's territory or whatever to get to your churches. You know what I'm saying? It's designed to grow more charters in the state, get it, get it functioning. They, yeah. you know, they're out there functioning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, and then they inevitably they get hit, you know, with Ricos and and. They just that's tear- all there is. Everything's a Rico now, bro. And that's all it's going to be. Listen, after that bullshit that happened in New Mexico, it's going to, it's, it, you just watch. It's going to hit, it's going to be systematic. They're going to wipe them. They're going to wipe them. And people can say whatever the fuck they want. You're wrong, whatever. They're going to wipe them dudes' asses. Watch. Yeah. And it ain't going to stop there. This is all they needed was more predicate acts, more stupid shit in public. You know what I mean? It never used to be like this. It, it was all greasy biker shit that was handled in the back, you know, the dark, shitty ass bars in town. You know what I'm saying? That nobody ever wanted to go to because, you know, and it was that's what it was. It was kept in the it was kept in the dark. You know what I mean? Side of the highway type of shit in the middle. of Yeah, dude. So, yeah. you know. When you start shooting in front of little kids and fucking family functions, they're going to shut you down, bro. They're going to come down. I mean, it's a gang. Make no mistake about it. They're a gang now. You know, if they if they didn't think they were before, you are now. I don't give a fuck what you tell me or or preach. That's what's up. Yeah. And that's what and and what do gangs fight over? Avenues, streets, fucking neighborhoods, counties. You're fucked. That was that that was everything they needed right there to put that to put that uh, that manhole over that that fucking stinky turd. Yeah, they're going to be coming after that club for sure. Uh, hard, hard. I mean, this is like the fourth incident in two months that has it's, made. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, bro. Yeah, it's a wrap. And then, and then, what do you, you know? What'll happen is they'll they'll gang bang a bunch of them dudes at once, like they did in in Texas a while back. And then the them them black and white guys came and swallowed up fucking six charters overnight. 
and and you know what I'm saying? And you know, that's a that's a foothold in a big ass state right there. I don't care who you are. Yeah. You know, and that's what's up. And it's gonna it'll Cal- go back and forth like that. Yeah. Cal says he uh grew up in the eighties in LA and he used to see angels all the time. And now he's gone a few years without seeing any in LA County. Yeah, well, they're unicorns down there, that's why. Um <laughs> uh you would be surprised how many charters there used to be in in down south, dude. There used to be a San Gabriel Valley, L.A. County. I mean, there was a shit ton of them, dude, at one time. But uh, you know, they gave up. They gave up. You know, Sonny went down there and took the best out of those charters, and and they all went up north. And the rest of them just you know ceased to exist. I mean, I will say this. The, the Southern charters that have lasted through the decades in Southern California, those are some of the ones that they're just legendary because you're usually, you know, uh, the only one I w- uh, that's legendary down there to me is like, uh, you know, Dago for Dago. sure. They're I'm fucking gang. They're, they're fucking gangsters. I don't give a fuck. You know, yeah. it is what it is down there. They're labeled as a menace to society down there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Literally. And, uh, you know, our side has got some savages in there. Um, I don't know too much about the Orange County guys now, you know, but, you know, the rest of them, you know, there's there's some savages in SFE for sure. A, a handful, you know, I don't know. It's been a while. All them charters have, have gone like this, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're down to some low ass numbers, you know. I mean, maybe that's the answer too. maybe not having a clubhouse in every single town. And yeah, then you have less inner club uh, house fighting, man. I mean, there's a lot of beef between clubhouses that people daily. There's a lot of beef between members, you know what I'm saying? So I've heard so much about daily yeah. in, in the time that I've been doing this. Uh, like, it seems like somebody always has a beef with Daly City left and right. At one time they did. I think that guy that had, you know, that was the problem there, just like Ventura ain't no more. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I you know, they, they, they're they back on their feet and running now. So we'll see what's up. Yeah. I've never met anybody from Daly City that I didn't like. That, you know, yeah. all gentlemen gangsters. It's the old president that was there, you know, that, that was all that shit was about, you know. Yeah. But I mean, have you ever seen that old David Mann painting? Uh, Have you ever seen any of the old David Mann paintings? I don't know who that is. Mm -mm. So an Easy Rider every every month, the the had the new Easy Riders came out, and the artist in there was David Mann. David Mann used to ride with the El Fostero Motorcycle Club from Kansas area, you know there, and uh, used to badass i mean you can look at all his paintings it's all about riding choppers in the night you know with like being on your 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 metal steed you know there would be horses sometimes in the background and two guys riding choppers in the night you know riding through death valley or some shit you know and uh there's a old there's an old painting he did of all the different clubs fighting in this scene and you see Hell's Angels in there. You see all these, you know, the old, the old, the old guard. And and one of those clubs was the Hangman MC. Have you ever heard of them? I have. Yeah. Uh, the Hangman MC used to be through the valley here, and uh, that that was another badass club. Like uh, I think they were always at it with the Bar Hoppers. You know, Bar Hoppers is another club around here. They're back around now, you know, as a support club. But the Hangman. The hangmen were fucking, there was a wild bunch there too, but, and, uh, I never hear anything about them anymore is, unless you've really been around the motorcycle scene a long time. You know what I mean? But, uh, I used to have that David, I probably still got that David man painting somewhere. I'll have to look, but, uh, that I recommend looking that up. I don't remember the name of it, but it's badass. That's yeah. a piece of club history right there. Like all this shit's going to be gone in a matter of years anyways, but it's all, it's all going to go to the wayside. It'll be a thing in the past. Yeah, because of all this shit that's happening. And that's what they're doing. They're pushing. Well, they, it'll be like Australia where it's illegal to wear your colors in public. 
100%. Every day we lose our rights and nobody's fighting for them anymore, you know, and not enough people are fighting for them. And when you don't fight, you lose more every day. Right. And the media just tells the American people, hey, all clubs bad, you know, so nobody cares. Nobody's going to. Well, all clubs are bad when they're doing stupid shit like shooting people in, the, in a fucking family gathering. Like there's so many other places to handle that shit. Pull up. Yeah. Fucking go to motherfucking go to go to their shit and handle it like men, dude. You gotta do it in front of a bunch of fucking kids and fuck their heads up for the rest of their life, man. That's stupid. Yeah. And they were raised in the same area. They know where where to find each other. Yeah, dude. I mean, come on. You know I don't know. I, I got no respect for that kind of shit, bud. Yeah, but when it comes to shady, look, if I'm rolling around with six people and I got something on me and I get run up on and and they start fighting and you know that there's 3000 of them at this event. I'm probably just going to start blasting too. I'm well, you know, or didn't do that. I'm just saying what I probably would I'd or be, just avoid the event, you know. There's that too. There is that. They came in You know, I mean if you know they're going, let, let them go over there and spark it up and act tough. Let them fuck up with somebody else, man. Stay free. Well, if you if, look, it, it, listen, if you ain't out here, if you ain't here out here riding, then you you ain't about you know. There's what, nothing to there's nothing to fight over anymore, anyways. The other, if you're all locked up, then what the fuck? The other New Mexico dominant club didn't go to this because they knew it was just going to be a shit show. Exactly, uh, and that was smart of them. Who it are was, they? <laughs> it was brilliant of them. Uh, yeah, how gentlemen gangsters move. You yeah. know. We're not going to go to a public place where we know something public is going to happen. Yeah, it's, where 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 kids are going to be kids, right? Uh, I kudos to the other club out there for for making the decision. Hey, we'll go ride and we'll do our own thing out here while they're all up there. Hey, let's have our own event. Fucking, we don't need this public shit, dude. I believe that that's what they did. They had their own yeah. little, and and they, kept, you know, See which. That? That shall not try me. <laughs> <laughs> so another club, the Hessians. I'm actually. Yeah, dude, I love those guys. For for I've always been a. I always think those guys were were uh, were about it, bud. They're another ones that you know that that keep their shit their shit. You know. You got to respect that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm looking into an older indictment out of Vegas that inclu- uh, involved the Hessians. Those and- guys are down they're 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 thick down there in Dago. I think that's pretty much where they, where they started. You know, uh, <clears throat> what I thought was pretty cool is uh, where they got their name from. You know, where they where they got their name from? No. Well, they were like the uh, mercenaries that that uh, King George paid blood money to to go fight these huh. his fight you know fight his his uh wars for him or whatever you know his like his uh killing crew That's his dope. private his private uh assassins you know what i'm saying yeah and uh uh he paid him with blood money called a uh like a hessian coin or i can't remember the ex- exact uh somebody somebody on here is listening they'll tell me the proper name for it but uh yeah, that's what that's what that's where they got their name for. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a, it's like his blood army. You know what I mean? They got play. They got paid with these uh, coins that he made, that were like a, a Hessian coin or some shit. You know, like a blood coin. And uh, there's probably still a few of them coins around, but they're rare as fuck. It was a real thing. You know what I mean? I like stuff like that. I, that's I, badass. I, that that's that's now that's going back in history right there, bud. Yeah, yeah, that ass contractors, huh? The the original contractors. Yes, yeah, sir. Black ops. Yeah. <laughs> what what was that? Uh, uh, what was uh, uh, old boys? Uh, the the contractors that went over there to Iraq to rebuild what we tore up. Black no bid team. contracts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Deal. Yeah, that's badass, dude. Hey, and and uh, another thing I thought was cool, dude, on their website, they got uh, road rash pictures. You know what I mean? Like, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's another that I, I recommend people go over there and look at that. You want to get in this life? 
get used to that shit because it comes with it, bud. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Like, oh, uh, buddy, there ain't nothing like pulling asphalt out of your body either. It it rots in there and it festers in there, dude. It it turns the skin this nasty ass fucking green. The pus is even green, bud. It's fucking ra- it's rad, dude. Yeah, just the digging digging rocks oh, out. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that other club's colors, the green that comes out of it. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm serious. I've seen some pretty gnarly ones over the years where, uh, yeah, where yeah. We, I, I remember having to clean this. Uh, we had a, a Persian or Arabian family or something. I, I don't know which one, but I know there's a distinction. Uh, his name was Syed, and Syed went down on his bike, and we were like, 18 or 19 and we picked rocks out of Syed's for all night long just high yeah. picking out his back oh yeah he he loved you for it too huh yeah not at the time <laughs> come on man those those were those are words of of deep love right there <laughs> you know what i mean those yeah. all those names you heard that night that was deep love <laughs> yeah you just you got to lay them down Lay down, man. Dude, yeah. That's, that's oh, hard. fuck. Oh. Yeah, I've had to. I've had to have it scrubbed out of my leg, right there. Mm. Mm. I got ran over by a semi, bud. The whole right side of my body once. Damn. Yeah. See, that's that's the most nerve wracking part. Is people, you know, it's not the riding, it's the people. People are getting yeah, worse. You got you to watch out for the people around you, man, because they'll run your ass right over. They'll pull up. They'll make a left turn. I had a fucking. I had this dude make a left. I had to make a U turn from. He moved out of the fast lane to the slow lane, pulled off to the shoulder, and then just whipped over two double yellows, bud. Both lanes of traffic going our way, mm-hmm. and took me the fuck out, dude. Right after I picked my bike up from a nomad's house and from him working on it for me just got it painted all kinds of shit but this fucker ran me over and then tried to get away and these two lesbians stopped and were like we've seen the whole thing hey and when i was on the phone with this motherfucker's insurance and, and uh their to the his insurance agent tells me he just he just did the same thing a month ago oh my god and tried to run <laughs> <laughs> yeah man i had a I, he had to pay for my all my clothes a new helmet gloves my paint job on my bike, every fucking thing, dude. Damn. It was gnarly. Yeah, that fucker almost took me out, but uh, that one that one was kind of scary right there. Oh. Yeah. So uh I talked to someone last night. They're gonna I'm getting all the paperwork from the Sonoma trial. Oh, that'll be good. And yeah, and now Ray Ray is like, hey. See if see if me told sent me the message. Ray Ray wants to know if you'll dig into his case to see if there's anything funny. I said, "Oh, there's something funny. I promise you that, Ray." Ray. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, we're gonna start digging. He got a he got a fucked up shake on that deal, bud. I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to get him on shit that he's done in life, he's done plenty of shit to get him on. You know, don't. Hey, he he ain't he ain't one to hide from what like he's he's a proud man, dude. Like, and, and that's what he is for real. Got nothing but respect for that dude. Yeah, that'll be interesting though. Uh, yeah, down. It'll be yeah. I would get into it, bud. See what you can do. Oh yeah. There's something. There's something. Yeah, there's something, there's something just doesn't smell right. Something doesn't smell right because they've been after him and Rain Man for years, bro. Yeah, fucking years. And it just, it just, you know, it just doesn't seem like that's what they would get him for. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, something that's made, something smells like shit. I, and so much is still sealed. You know, I, it's almost like shit. If I could just get Ray to send me copies of his paperwork, because he's got all the unsealed everything, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as it can go. Like, I'm sure that there are names that are left out, but they're just redacted. I won't be able to yeah. see document he'll see everything with names redacted yeah i remember uh i had this fucking lame ass lawyer one time and uh i was sitting behind the glass you know and 
at the lawyer visit and and he's like yeah i don't know i gotta read through all this shit it's a big old book you know what i mean but uh nothing was redacted yet dude and so i'm reading this shit upside down as best as i could so then i get on the horn with the people and i'm like hey man i've seen so-and-so's name in there you know what i mean this, uh was it supposed to be uh the shit wasn't supposed to be out there yet you know yeah but he was just a he didn't give a fuck about the case and he was you know, it was one of those things where they um, they uh, take take a case for uh, a tax write off for something every year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he was a, he was he was basically a lawyer, but he was more of a uh, it was a volunteer. I take what he tell me. I take one or two of these kinds of cases a year. I mean, it'll keep his name in the newspapers for sure. Yeah, you know, but. uh <laughs> he wasn't gonna do no fucking work, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he was he's thrown through these pages like you know, I could tell he was just gonna use it to light his fire when he got home. <laughs> he could give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Horrible. <clears throat> yeah, Joey, yeah, the discovery, but it's kind of an amended discovery when it comes to these top type of rico cases yes yes it's always gonna have you know it'll be redacted they'll have big old black fucking crude black oil marks across them you know what i mean well not just that they'll give you the original discovery the day before you're going to trial if you're lucky yeah. if not wait they'll you give you they'll give it to you when 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 they start saying evidence that that your defense doesn't have yet and that's well, we it. gave them everything no nah, the fuck you did but this is the game they play they play it every fucking match Anybody that's ever been in a real case will tell you the same fucking thing, but that's what's up. Yeah. They and, don't do a fucking thing until the judge makes them. And every single day they'll unseal something so they can introduce it into trial. So literally it's like you start. Every day there's yeah. something that your defense doesn't have for, you know, your case. You're fucked. You know what I mean? And and it's, you, you really got to. You know, like like with the Laughlin and all that thing, they didn't want to say who their fucking undercovers were. That's how everybody got out of that shit. All right, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. they didn't want to give them up. Yeah, which is crazy. To I mean, but you you guys kind of already know. Uh, if you have the feeling, if you're like, oh, this dude's probably a cop. That dude's probably a cop. Yeah. It's it's. <laughs> But listening to the Sonoma trial, it was every day. It was it was three times a day. They would introduce a new witness, but the defense had no idea to witness his name because it was it was under seal until they actually called the witness. And then you're like, "Oh, okay, uh, the newspaper boy is testifying." <laughs> like, I I, th I think that some shit's gonna come out, and all those dudes will get new trials. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're putting this week. They're putting in. A motion for a new trial. Yeah. Uh, it'll get knocked down. That's what always happens. The judge never says, oh, yeah, I think uh, I think there was definitely some impropriety into this case. And we should. Yeah. Give you know, unless it's like Laughlin and, you know, the judge is getting paid. That's just a fact. That's what happened there. Yeah. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. A lot of people, it didn't turn out the way I thought it would. <laughs> it didn't turn out the way the government thought it would either because motherfucker was on the payroll, homie. <laughs> Being from Clark County, Nevada, I was like, oh, these dudes are done for. You're shooting at each other in the middle of a casino? Mm -hmm. Never. And then it happens. And then it happens again? Yeah. Yeah. Not even months later? Mm. Street vibrations? Yeah. Between between one club and another club, too. That's the other thing. All three of the, the dominants in that state were getting after each other in casino floors. It's crazy. Dude, and, then, and then it happened again. Uh, you know, them green dudes and shit got fired up on the floor up there. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. I yeah, mean, it, it, it's becoming the normal, which isn't cool, you know? 
That's the last place you want to be doing some shit, bud. It's like fucking around in a bank or a gas gas station parking lot, bud. There's so many fucking cameras, dude. Right. Well, when you do stuff like this in public, then then it, it gives... Like, you have people that'll fight for you in, in public and be like, no, they should be able to exist. Right? Not not doing this kind of shit. People no. are, I just want to go look at cool motorcycle gear. I don't want to dodge bullets while I'm doing it. Yeah, you know, I was so drawn into the lifestyle when I was younger. I don't even really think about it anymore, dude. All I think about is my kids and and, and every day I get to spend with them, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, the whole, you know. Will I Hart. Fucking, uh, I had to, I walked away from that shit because I, I, I ain't going to prison for people that ain't going to go for me no more. You know what I mean? Yeah. A hundred percent. If I'm going to go for anybody, it's going to be over my kids. That's it. You come that, fucking around with my kids. I'm going to fucking show you what it can be, buddy. Yeah. That's exactly how it should be. Yeah. Uh, Will, other than that, other than that, I'm done with that stupid shit. But I've I've had nothing but a good life since I left there. Hell yeah! I had some shit I had to clear up when I got done, but I'm so done with that shit. But it doesn't even, don't even uh, perk doesn't even perk me up anymore. You know? Right. Uh, uh, somebody named Will Hartsock says, "What's up, Rob? Ain't seen you in days." I know who the fuck Will is, but that's a good motherfucking dude right there. <laughs> If I if I thinking who I think it is, that's a good motherfucking dude right there. What's up, Will? <laughs> He's still alive, then that's a good thing. Yeah, there yeah. Me. See, that's a, that's the only good thing out of this is I'm I I'm running into all my old real motherfuckers. You know what I mean? That's I a real dude right there too, bud. I can't tell you how many people have have, have come to me over the last couple of months like hey I, I know that guy can you just tell him blah 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 said hello you know yeah. and I'll, I'll tell one of you guys and you guys will be like oh yeah that dude's cool send him my number you know and it's yep. been all the time and I don't that's what this is all about anyway yeah this, this gets everybody Dude, if, if we were still in that life and all of us got together forget yeah. about it yeah that you know I could only imagine hanging out with all of you guys together. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna one day, bud. You oh, know, yeah, it's inevitable, bud. Yeah, but uh, you know, the Todd is what brings it all together. I don't give a fuck, bud. He's just that guy. <laughs> That's all. I, 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 I got to throw his name out there every fifteen, twenty minutes. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you get him and Big Rob together. Oh. God, <laughs> yeah, it is quickly becoming one of my favorite people. He's just always. Oh, I love that guy from day one, but he's just fucking. You should have seen the helmets he used to. The he wore like these German helmets, you know. Yeah. As so you were asking him, if, if, you know, how many bugs and shit like that, dude. When we were going to Wyoming, I hit a water bug in Wyoming. Hit me in the face. I almost drowned. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is the first time ever experiencing that dude and uh I almost drowned but it literally just <clears throat> it was foul as shit ever dude and then uh uh we're you know when you're going through Wyoming it's big old passes you know you're going up down up all the way up through the clouds and back down again and uh we we're going all the way up in elevation and uh I got hit right between the eyes with the fucking big old piece of hail dude and it knocked the shit out of me, but I, the, everything started closing in. You know what I mean? I was going out, but I had to fight through that shit. And That's I fucking pulled over, and I, my bell was rung, bud. I almost had to tap out on that one, dude. It knocked the shit out of me. Because right. we were going like 80 or 90, and they just caught me smooth between the eyes, just like uh, David and Goliath, bud. I, I, I know what killed that giant, bro. Oof. He said, I'm just going to yeah. take up here in the mountains of Wyoming. I'm just going to sit right here by the chase car for a minute, bud. Just, you know, everybody could just fucking wait. I don't care. It <laughs> knocked the shit out of me, dude. I don't know how the fuck I stayed up on that bike. Because uh, I've fallen asleep on the bike before and woke up going off the shoulders. You know what I mean? Wow. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, long nights and long days, bud, as stranger things have happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's... 
I could only imagine being up for five, six days and five or six days is for fucking rookies, but I'm talking oh, weeks. And then deciding that you're going to go cruise across the country, you know, <laughs> or just try to make it home when the dope runs out. Oh, oh. that'd be horrible. Yeah. Oh. I'm talking going from the fast lane all the way to the fucking slow lane shoulder, bud, and waking up. Oh, shit. Just a little bit further. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I don't know how the fuck I lived through all that shit, bud. That's the God's honest truth. But I'm still here for a reason. There's something I still got to do. You know, somebody I still got to help. That's the way I look at it. Hell yeah. You know, because I've been involved in some bad shit, bad situations. So I had... They tell me uh, something about the, what is it, Soltar Soldiers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that sounds like some pagan support club or something. That's what I, I they were saying, hey, what about this club, you know? So I start you looking. Know, look, all those other clubs, <laughs> they're all about their shit, you know what I mean? Just like any other club. Yes. If I grew up in Pennsylvania or if I grew up in Texas or, or Florida, you know, that's that's what it is. I probably, you know. Yeah. Because like I said, I was just a, it was more the lifestyle. Yeah. That, it, that was like attracted to me, you know, that made me. These guys do whatever the fuck they want, dude. They're just badass and they look, you know. Yeah. So, you know, some some colors look better than on you than others i would say but uh you know that one is just the one i'm not yeah. saying that i like some other colors that are out there i ain't gonna say which ones but you know you pull up with that one on and it's like i either love you or hate you and i'm good with either one yeah yeah some said they were started by rooster oh yeah after he got kicked out of the pagans rooster huh Oh, I mean, I, I know. I, I, was, don't, I know that we had a rooster in our club over in Minnesota. I think he's still in the club, though. Yeah, if uh, you, Minneapolis, there. If you got kicked out of a club, would you start a new club with with almost an homage to the patch of the club that you were just kicked out of? Well, when I first came around, me and one of my buddies I came around with were like. These motherfuckers throw us out, bud, and I'm bringing their worst enemy to this state that ain't here. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, was, that was that was my my mental process back when I was stupid. Yeah. And, and, and didn't have kids and didn't give a fuck if I lived to be 30, you know. But something happens to you when you have kids. You yes. realize that you're not bulletproof, that you have a weakness. You have something to live for now. It is what it is. Some people could deny it. I, I, I'm just going to tell you what it is, you know? Yeah. You, you're, you're, you're not the same after you have a kid. If you're close with them, you know, like, uh, I got kids, you know, my oldest two, I haven't been able to get around or be around in a long time, which it, it hurts a lot. Like I said, you're going to lose everything if you do this shit. You know what I mean? I didn't have no business having kids when I had my first two kids. I'll tell you that I had no, no business being a father or a parent. Because I was still a kid myself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the kids have changed. Like, my older sons didn't change anything. I was still ripping and roaring and tearing. Muscles. Right. I went but, to prison when my with my first two. You know, I was I was not I was not uh, in a good place in my life. Yeah. But when I when I decided that I was done with this shit, you know, I went to their mother and told her first that I was going to quit. And she was like, no, no. And I was like, well, I got some shit to think about, you know, and that could pretty much ended everything on that side of the fence for a long time. And uh, now she just, I think she's just stuck in protection mode. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is, you know, I don't blame her. I put her family through hell. Like I said, this shit is going to take everything from you. I mean, her, her mom the the feds and everybody was trying to get her mom fired from her job like on the daily dude it was terrible and i feel bad for them for that so i just kind of keep my distance and let them live their life now you know what i'm saying it really fucks shit up over there 
Yeah. Tore, tore, tore everything apart, bud. Tore the roof right off the fucking party, bud. I mean, you were ground zero for that. Oh, dude. You I were- was, I was, I was a, I fucked their life up too. Not only my own, but theirs as well. So I just, I just stay away from it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got my, I got what I got and I'm trying to just keep what I got, you know? Yeah. Well, there's no winners. There's no winners in a situation Never. where the two. I mean, just look at, look at those guys in snow. All them dudes got kids, bro. And now they just lost everything for what? Yeah. A piece of turf that they can't even, they, they can't fight for now because they're in the joint forever. Yeah. Uh, they were living the, the, they were living the life though. Well, they howdy. Yeah. It's it, like I said, it's, 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 uh, I wouldn't trade it, but I was sure as fuck wouldn't do it again. Yeah. I, 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 I like, uh, I used to always say, you know, I like sleeping in the bed that the old lady made me, not the one I make. Cause the one I make is fucked up, but yeah. it's fucked up. <laughs> it's so much better to come home to that nice fucking pillow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't get a pillow in the joint, bro. Wow. In Nevada, you stuff can your, buy- stuff your clothes in that fucking in that in that in that bag, and lay on that motherfucker. And uh, you know, I've slept in some fucked up places. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. But I, just- I, you know, I could, I'm just I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. But I I could think of so many different things to do with my life now. I still like motorcycles. I ain't gonna own another one. I've I've owned a, a few. You know. I'm good off that bullshit. I get don't get me wrong, I miss riding in that in that fucking that pack is there's nothing like it, but the adrenaline, the when you like like Big Rob was saying, when everybody knows when they know what they're doing, there's nothing like it, but it's just it's fucking just there ain't nothing like it, bud. Yeah. But in the end, you lose, you know, when you can't do that, when you can't you can't then you lose everything for that, you know. And then you can't ride. You're just sitting there wishing you could ride. People, people writing you, write, writing you letters. You know when they go on the runs or show up to parties together that you can't be at. Yeah. And uh, not too many of them are remembered, dude. Fuck, we had a guy down there in prison in Florida that nobody acknowledged for fucking years. You know what I mean? He was part of that that uh, the patch over there in in Arizona. And everybody's all, you know this guy? You know this guy? I don't know that guy. Nobody knew that guy, but that guy was, you know. <laughs> and then everybody knew that guy. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. <laughs> it's like, fuck, dude. He's over there. He's over there paying the ultimate price, and nobody could even fucking, nobody knew who the fuck he was for the longest. It's bullshit. Yeah, it's been an- ending poorly for a lot of people, too, lately. Yeah, well, it's and you're going to see a lot more of that. What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's out of control with Rico and and inner turmoil and it's just... everybody's curious now. What's up, guys? <laughs> Say what's up. Hi. <laughs> My dad. Good deal. Yeah. Good See? deal. Huh? It's a good deal. Yeah. Okay, get back in there. I'm almost done. <laughs> Go ahead. So that's what I live for right there, but it's awesome. Yeah. And they actually know who I am. You hear that? That's my dad. That's rad. Yeah. That's a big thing. Cause with my oldest two sons, I can't claim to have had any part in raising them. Yeah. Their life. Yeah. But I dropped the ball huge on that. I, I talked to my sons. I love them very much. Yeah. But they missed out on the full experience because I I felt it necessary to, you know, run around and do stupid horse horse ass shit, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, you know, I uh, that's what gets me go. That's what gets me up every day. That's what I live for now, bud. That's I gave up the motorcycle for that shit right there, bud, and I'm cool with it. Well, I mean, now you're going fishing. <laughs> and, and building porches, right? <laughs> what if something like that happens. You knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, oh! I mean, you're in California. 
and the blizzard takes your porch out. Yeah. Blizzard. It's all right. It's nuts. San Diego got hit twice. The weather's so crazy. I know. It, and I think we're going to see a lot of that, too. Not only is, is everything in that world going crazy, but everything in our real world is going crazy, too, dude. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to live the best life I can live right now. And and that's what's up. I'm telling you, we we'll get you out of that state. Get you over I'm here. I'm working on it, but I'm thinking my, my, you know, maybe Montana or Wyoming. I don't know. I mean, those are beautiful places to go. It is. Ugh. You know, a little bit, little bit more colder, but fuck it, dude. At least I won't be falling in the ocean. Have you, uh, have you ever dealt with Baca? Baca, bikers against. Uh, yeah. Did, yeah, but, uh, yeah. I mean, they're around. You know, I ain't got nothing against them. Look, <clears throat> kids are innocent, regardless. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm down with. I'm down, like. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't letting nobody abuse no kids in front of me, but that's, that goes for prison or everywhere I've been in life. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to stick up for the, the underdogs or the underprivileged. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, I came from a real poor, poor place in life and, uh, it's just, uh, you know, I ain't with that shit, but yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I mean, I've, I've heard of them. Obviously, they've been around for a while. I mean, they ain't a gangster club or nothing like that. They're just bikers against child abuse type of thing, you know? Yeah, like they'll they'll go and 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 sit outside of a kid's house to make sure they're safe. Or yeah. if somebody maybe every now and then needs to have hands put on them. I'm, I'm down with that, you know? I, kind of, I, I saw that and I was like, that might be the kind of club i'll go hang out with because I'll, I'll beat up somebody who does that to a kid and feel I, let's go sit in jail i'm fine <laughs> Dude, I, I've, I've lost it in a liquor store i went in there to get a beer one time and the, this guy had his kids in there obviously a junkie you know and and this kid you know kids are gonna you take your kids in the store they're gonna ask for candy dude right and the kids were like trying to ask for candy and he was you know obviously didn't have his dope or his fix for the day and smacked one of his kids and i just just lost it right there but just took off on him beat his fucking ass handed the kids the candy paid the guy at the counter let their dad sleep on the floor while i walked out the door you know yeah 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 i i, I like to think that's that's the same move i, I would have done something real yeah because you know growing up when i was younger i was abused as a child too you know it fucking right. it, it really fucked me up and uh i i don't even have i don't even hit my kids dude right so he I, said, I never, I never had to. He said, Baca is good people. They require federal background checks. I mean, other than stealing cars and, and a misdemeanor dope charge, uh, my background conviction wise is pretty good. I've been arrested on a bunch of shit. Nothing ever faulty though. Nothing no ever dirty, no dirty shit though. No, nothing like that at all. <clears throat> you know, it's like, uh, you know, you were saying last night that your buddies want you to get a bike. And, uh, you know, there's only, <laughs> so when I came around the club, I, I met a, I met a member, somebody knew the member went over there, bought some support shirts. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is a life for me. You know what I mean? He's like, you got a bike? I go, no. He goes, well, get the fuck out of here and come back when you do. So I came back the next day, bro. <laughs> He's, I was like, I need a couple of things. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, I could, I could help you out with that. And and I had a bike, bud. I mean, I did. It was new to me, <laughs> you know. Yeah, uh, and I had to learn how to put it together, and I had to learn how to ride it. And and uh, you know, I mean, a lot of these guys can't do that shit nowadays, you know. Yeah, that's a big thing. Uh, yeah, I haven't torn into any any smaller engines, but I fixed my own car. Unless. I, I, I fixed my own truck. It just don't want to be fixed right now. It's it's about halfway up my driveway, but it took a shit. Yeah, I got pictures of me, my 16-year-old son, and my three-year-old daughter at the time out there changing out uh, coilovers and all types of shit. Yeah. Right? You know? It's what it is, what it is man. You got to learn how to work on it because you don't want to be the guy holding up the pack. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just like doing it, though. Yeah, well, that's the way it should be. The day you don't like doing it, it ain't for you no more, bro. Right, and I trust my work. Yeah, you know? well, that's that's the, that's the thing right there is is you know you don't know whose side that mechanic's on. I don't give a fuck what town he lives in and what shop he works at. You don't know if he's on your team. You don't know. Right. You don't know. You don't know. In that life, that's a huge thing. That's that's everything in this life. Because uh, believe me, dude, every house I lived in, I never slept in a bedroom. Yeah. I never did. I made the kitchen my bedroom. The furthest point from the fucking front door or the side of the house was where my bed was. They, I used, you know, they will rattle that shit up every time. I, yeah, I used to sleep, you know, everything, have my my stuff in my. So that all I gotta do is just grab the hat and I'm out of here. Yeah, I, I ever went. That's crazy. it. I didn't ever empty my pockets out, bro. If I take the pants off, I set them right next to where I'm at. Ah. I will jump right in them motherfuckers just like uh, uh, Superman in the in the motherfucking phone booth, bud. <laughs> huh? Couple minutes. I'm getting done. It's been oh, it's over an hour. We'll let you. Uh, uh, I got they. I got to make some s'mores, bro. I got to make some ghetto s'mores. I don't know if you know about this, but uh, I don't have a gas stove, and I ain't going out front to light a fire. I'm a. I'm gonna turn on that electric stove and put some shit on a fork. Burn them marshmallows up and make some s'mores real quick, bud. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, bro. That's what's up, bro. You know? Gotta love it, man. Uh, I gotta figure out that StreamYard shit so we can all get on here. Me, Big Rob, uh, you know, yeah. Never Todd, you know? Yeah, you're holding up, holding up the program when it comes to that. Get you and Pee Wee and B.A. Yeah. Rob. We'll all get it. We'll all get after it, bud. Uh, but uh, well, definitely with Big Rob, bud. I'm fucking that dude's fucking too much. I was sucking, laughing so hard. I was pissed last night because I was trying to get on that motherfucker to say what's up to him because I haven't got to talk to him. And the motherfucker, uh, my shit. That was me in the background. I'm all, what the fuck is this shit? Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it kept blocking my my mic and my fucking video, dude. I'm like, this is bullshit. Yeah, that's all settings. That's I wanted to get on there and talk shit too, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Well, well we'll get that figured out we'll get your settings figured out because like oh, so many I, people... I gotta go get a new phone this this one's fucked dude it's yeah. fucked six ways to sunday bud yeah. and it likes it that's the problem it likes it so <laughs> get you, you know an I mean? yeah uh -huh. get you an iphone i probably got one i i got a I got all kinds of shit to do this week, but I got to go get a new truck. I got to get a new phone. I got to get a new life. All that shit. You know, it's all on back order, bro. Coming from China. That's why. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Some people never learn, right? <laughs> We're going there next. You watch. You think Shozing so? or however the fuck you say that. That sounds like a great place to be, right? Three piece patch, start up there, you know, fucking bats for dinner. I wonder how that would go, bro. <laughs> like a fart in a punch bowl. <laughs> like a like a big old fucking brown dinger that Todd left in my bowl last time he was here. He's all, hey, you got a plunger? That fucker. <laughs> he sent me pictures of his medical. Yeah, dude. He sent it. I got him at dinner time, bro. And I look, I'm, I'm eating tacos, bud. And I'm taking a bite and I, I click on the thing and it says dessert picks. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's all, hey, bro, I, I got some bad news. I couldn't get video. And I'm like, oh, man, that's fucked up. Right. You know, and then he goes, but I got pictures and I get this thing. Dessert picks. This motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> you gotta well, love him, bud. You gotta, you can't help but love the dude. Yeah, he's good. He's solid. He's As solid. they come, I got a lot of love for but him. He stayed here for two weeks, but it was I haven't had that much fun since I was fucking. I I don't since the last time I seen him, fucking fifteen years ago, bud. We had so much fun, like two kids in a candy store, bud. But we got into everything, bro. Oh, oh yeah. It took me a week to recover. Maybe. I don't even know if I'm recovered yet, bud. So, I'm, uh, 
I'm looking at maybe getting Mel and Pee Wee on. Dude, Mel's gonna be a hot one. I'm telling you, dude. That dude, that dude's rad, dude. Oh yeah, got yeah. No, got nothing but love and respect. That dude, that dude lost everything multiple times, and look what he's created for himself now, dude. And he he don't pull no punches, dude. He's a great interviewer, but he's he's it's fire. It's gonna be. I want to see that one, dude. Yeah. You tell me before it comes up. You've been lit- slipping on me lately, bro. Oh I'll yeah. Find out. I find out when it's happening. If I don't get on here and look, but it's already happening. My this motherfucker, man. He didn't even send me a courtesy text. What the fuck. <laughs> I'll start. All of a sudden, hey, all of a sudden you're that busy, bud, huh? It's been busy. Bye, uh, man. But yeah, we had a deal, fucker. I'm never too busy. <laughs> you're killing it, bud. Stay, stay where you're at. I'm trying. Uh. Should fuck be all a- them other lames, bud. That shit was lame. You know, fuck them dudes, bud. They just trying to take your clout and your people, bud. Fuck that. You could yeah. do better than that. You you are doing better than that. Yeah. You did yeah. the right thing. You did the right thing too, bud. You didn't even got to mention that fucking that punch bowl. Fuck that douchebag. Yeah, and that's For where real. I'm. You're in the right. You're in the right place, bud. You're taking over, bud. Just just stick, do you, bud. Yeah. Like yeah. like Todd said, ride your own fucking horse, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what it is too i mean there's yeah. no there's no point in you know I, we're we're doing just fine ourselves over here you are you are dude you got the right plan you got the right business plan bud you're on it just just keep going bud yeah get that get that interview bud i don't know uh if you've been back in touch with him since but hit him up man see what's up he ain't gonna get mad at you yeah, Mel, get Mel on here, bud. That'll be a good one for you, bud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and him and Pee Wee come on, start talking. I know him and Pee Wee still talk, bud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's uh, I he's guess. gonna hook you up with them. Yeah, get it, bud. Get it. Yeah, I mean those are those are the those are the dudes, you know. Where it's yeah, like- dude. Yeah, that's all right, man. Well, get after it, brother. I'm gonna. I got some. I got some ghetto ass fucking. I got some ghetto cooking to do, bro. All right, bro. Kids are, kids are on me, man. Get after it. Get after it. All right. All love, man, to the real ones out there that deserve it, man. You know who you are. Love you, Todd. <laughs> Big Rob. <laughs> you too, Rick. All Stay right, up. Bro. Joey Tats, all you guys, man. It's always good. I love getting on here and talking shit with them all, bud. You know, just because we talking shit in the comments don't mean we ain't paying attention, brother. Yeah, yeah. And- you know what I mean? That's why I told all my mods. I said, "Hey, I said yeah. these are all guys that known each other for fucking years, right there. They're just this is their this is their happy hour now, bud. They're all fucking they're all ninety with gray hair, bud. That's their happy hour right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let them all sit here and uh, you what you think is talking shit is just them saying hello. So exactly, but that's like like someone told me a long time ago, bud. I thought somebody insulted me and I was pissed and I, I wasn't letting it go. You know, I thought I, I was going to go back and fight. You know what I mean? And he's like, oh, no, dude, that's that's like I like your shoes. You know what I mean? Nice shoes. I was like, oh, OK. So. All right. Thank you guys for coming to Vegas Profile Stories. I appreciate you it. Yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you <laughs> next- <laughs> later, guys.